Many of you watching this video are probably intimately familiar with the unbelievable story of the Titanic's band. The band that, on the night of the sinking, instead of trying to save their own lives, the members of the band chose to instead remain at their posts and play relaxing music in an attempt to keep the crowds calm while the evacuation of the Titanic was carried out. Now, for this video, we're not going to be going into the full story of the Titanic's band. I'm planning to do that in another video. But what we're going to do instead is analyze one of the longest running legends about the Titanic's band, see what's true about the legend, see what's false, and ultimately try to decide if this legend even happened or if something else happened entirely. The legend we're going to be looking at is, what was the band's final song on the Titanic before they broke up during the final stages of the sinking? Legend states that this song was nearer My God to Thee, and if you look at the testimony about this, there is testimony that states that this was the final song. However, if you do a little bit more investigating, you'll find evidence that, or testimony I should say, where people say it wasn't nearer My God to Thee, it was an entirely different song. So ultimately what I did for this video was I researched this topic in depth to try to answer once and for all what was the final song the Titanic band played on the night of the sinking. And, okay, with the answer out of the way, let's now try to answer this age-old question. Now, before we can attempt to answer the question of this video, there's another important question that we need to answer first. Is the story of the Titanic's band even true in the first place? Did the Titanic's band really play music on the sinking liner during the evacuation? Well, the answer to this question is undoubtedly yes. There is so much testimony out there that proves that the Titanic's band really did play music on the ship as the evacuation of the Titanic was being carried out. However, when you try to figure out what was the band's final song, well, the answer to this question gets a little bit more tricky to figure out. You see, the reason this is a hard question to answer is, well, think of it like this, okay? Whenever you have a major world event happen, like the sinking of the RMS Titanic, well, any part of this event that a lot of people saw, like the fact that the band was playing, well, because so many people talked about it and gave testimony about it, it's easy to prove that this, in fact, did happen. However, when you try to get into very specific details, like what was the final song that the Titanic's band played that evening, well, this is where you start to run into trouble because there, you are going to run into conflicting testimony. You're also going to run into issues where people may have misinterpreted what they were hearing. And this is understandable because when you try to talk about the final song that the Titanic's band played, well, at this point in the sinking, the ship was getting ready to drop like a rock and people were probably more focused on trying to save their lives than identify what piece of music they were listening to. So as you can see, this becomes a hard question to figure out. Now, ultimately, with this video, I'm not here to try to say, beyond a reasonable doubt, this is what happened with the Titanic's final piece of music. I'm not trying to do that. What I'm trying to do for this video is go back, look at the testimony, and I also thought it'd be a good idea to talk about the Titanic's band leader and analyze him a little bit and try to figure out who he was as a person. Because if you try to factor all of these things together, it can help you paint a picture as to what happened that night. Now remember, ultimately we can't say for sure, but ultimately what I'm trying to do is just look at all the available information and then make a best guess based on the available information that we have access to. All right, with all that out of the way, let's now jump back to try to answer the ultimate question of this video. Was Nearer My God to Thee the final song played on Titanic? Well, once you do some research into this, you will discover that the story that this was the final song played on Titanic is as old as the story of the sinking of the Titanic itself. I was able to find a newspaper that was dated April 19th, 1912, so not long after the disaster, and this newspaper clearly said that the band played Nearer My God to Thee during the final stages of the ship's sinking. Now, this obviously tells us that people were indeed saying this immediately following the disaster, and people were believing it. However, there is one very interesting piece of testimony that contradicts this claim. It is a testimony of the Titanic's very own wireless operator, Harold Bride. Following the sinking of the Titanic, Harold Bride gave an interview where he reported on everything that he experienced on the night that the Titanic sank. 
And during that interview, he said that the final song he heard from the ship's band was not Nearer My God to Thee, as everyone was claiming. He said, in fact, the final song that he heard was a song called Autumn. And he wasn't the only one to make this claim. There was another Titanic survivor by the name of Margaret Hayes. She also reported that the final song she heard that night was Autumn, not Nearer My God to Thee. However, despite these claims, it seems like that the public really never got into that idea. The public honestly completely believed that the final song was Nearer My God to Thee, and this idea would remain supreme for quite a while following the sinking. However, sometime later, there would be another famous person who, while he wasn't directly involved with the Titanic, he would do some work on the subject decades after the sinking, and his work would ultimately change Titanic historians' mind on what ultimately was the final song played on the Titanic that night. You guys may know who I'm about to mention. It was a man by the name of Walter Lord. For those of you who don't know, Walter Lord was an author who, in the year 1955, would publish one of the most famous Titanic books of all time, A Night to Remember. At the time that this book was released, it was the best book you could get that could accurately tell the story of the Titanic at least accurate from what everyone knew in the year 1955. If you do choose to pick up this book today, which I would recommend, it's a good read, just remember that where this book is so old, some of the details in this book are incorrect. I'm not hating on the book, I think it's a great book, just remember it's an old book and some of the information's wrong. But anyway, it's a great book for the time period, let's leave it at that. Now, when Walter Lord was doing research for A Night to Remember, he was studying the story of what was the final song played by the ship's band on the night of the sinking. Was it Nearer My God to Thee, or was it, in fact, another song, maybe Autumn? And while he was researching this, he seemed to agree with Harold Bride's testimony that the final song played by the ship's band that night was, in fact, Autumn, not Nearer My God to Thee. He seemed to think that the whole Nearer My God to Thee story was more of a legend than fact. Anyway, Walter Lord put this into A Night to Remember, and as far as Titanic historians were concerned, from that point on, that was the final word on the subject. The final song played by the ship's band that night was Autumn, not Nearer My God to Thee. However, even though this is what happened, I do find it interesting that in the year 1958, when the movie version of Walter Lord's book, A Night to Remember, came out, they still had Nearer My God to Thee in that movie as the ship's band's final song, instead of Autumn. My best guess is they probably did this because, as far as the public was concerned, this was still the final song that everyone knew that the ship's band played that night. The public thought this, so they put it in the movie. That's just my best guess. Anyway, this idea would continue to remain supreme for the next few decades. That is, until the 1980s, when Walter Lord was doing research for his next Titanic book, where he would ultimately change Titanic historians' minds once again on what was the final song played by the ship's band that night. In the 1980s, Walter Lord decided to study the Titanic once again because he wanted to publish another book on the subject. He decided to dive into old research and see if any new insights could be gained into the story of the Titanic. He published his findings in a new Titanic book titled The Night Lives On, which was released in the year 1986. Now, over the course of his research, he took another look at the story of the Titanic's band to see if any new revelations could be made about it. He wanted to find out, once and for all, if he was correct about the band's final song that night. He took another look at the testimony by Harold Bride on this subject, and he made a shocking discovery. And when he announced this discovery, it shocked everyone in the Titanic community. You see, Walter Lord proposed in his new Titanic book that he thinks that when Harold Bride was giving that interview where he stated that the final song he heard from the ship's band that night was Autumn, he thinks he may have been misunderstood by the person who was interviewing him. Apparently, and this was news to me, there were several different songs during that time period that had the word Autumn in it. And it's possible that the interviewer thought that Harold Bride was referring to a different song. But Walter Lore proposed that there was a very popular song during the time of Titanic. And this song, also called Autumn, or otherwise known as Song D. Otum? Otum? I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong about that, please correct me in the comments below. But this song was so popular during the time of Titanic, and this song would have definitely been familiar to Harold Bride. 
and Walter Lord proposed that he may have been referring to this song and not the other version of Autumn that everybody thought that he was talking about at the time. Now, I did try to find this original version of Autumn that everybody thought Harold Bragg was referring to, but I wasn't able to find it. However, I did find the other version. I will play a short clip of that right now. I gotta say, that is a very nice song, and I can definitely understand why people in 1912 would have enjoyed listening to that. If any of you out there watching this video would like to listen to that song after this video is over, I will include a link to that song in the description below. Oh, and guys, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you, it really helps out a lot. Now, anyway, before we continue the video, there is one thing that I do need to make clear to everybody here, just so there's no confusion. I do think that Walter Lord was probably right when he said that Harold Bride was referring to this new version of Autumn that you guys just heard me play for all of you when he was talking about the final song that he heard on the Titanic that night, not the other version of the song that I couldn't find the music to. So just so you all know, from now on in this video, whenever you hear me talk about the song Autumn, I'm going to be referring to the one that you just heard on this video, not the original one that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Now, when Walter Lord made this very stunning announcement that Harold Bride may have been misunderstood during that interview, it sent out a massive shockwave throughout the entire Titanic community. Titanic historians all over the world were definitely stunned by what Walter Lord had to say on this subject. And what's even more surprising is most Titanic historians actually agreed with Walter Lord. There was a lot of logic and truth with what Walter Lord was proposing here. In fact, this new version of Autumn is actually what people refer to today when they say that Autumn was the final song played by the ship's band that night, not the older original version that everyone thought at first. In fact, if you look up the song Autumn on YouTube, the new version that you heard me play in this video is what you find. People, for the most part, have completely forgotten about the old original version that everybody thought Harold Bride was referring to before Walter Lord wrote his new book. Now, this surprise announcement by Walter Lord also had another, more unexpected outcome. This announcement caused a massive, and I mean massive, amount of renewed interest in the story of the Titanic's band, and ultimately, what was the band's final song on the night of the sinking. So many Titanic historians out there began to research the Titanic's band once again. You see, as far as these Titanic historians were concerned, they were thinking, wait a minute, if we were wrong about the song that Harold Bride was referring to in that interview, could we be wrong about the final song the band played that night entirely? You know, maybe it wasn't Autumn. Maybe, in fact, it was a different song. Oh my gosh. Could the story that the final song the band played that night actually be nearer my God to thee after all? Maybe that's not just a legend. This is what Titanic historians all over the world were thinking. So anyway, Titanic historians all over the world began to research the story of the Titanic's band in detail. They began to look at the testimony and just, they wanted to see if they could come up with any new surprising revelations about the Titanic's band, like what Walter Lord did with his new book. And honestly, the results of what they found shocked everyone. Now remember, the original reason why Titanic historians doubted in the first place that the final song that the band played on the ship that night was Nearer My God to Thee was because many of them had gotten the impression that this story was more of a legend and didn't have much basis in fact. However, in the late 1980s, when there was this sudden renewed interest in the story of the Titanic's band, well, Titanic historians began to go back and look at all the testimony from the survivors of the Titanic disaster who saw the band with renewed interest. And while they were doing this, they also wanted to see if they could find the origin of the Nearer My God to the story. They wanted to see if they could find who started talking about this first? Did it show up first in a newspaper? When did the Titanic survivors start talking about it? They wanted to find out if a Titanic survivor mentioned it before the newspapers got a hold of it, because they were worried that the Nearer My God to the story was probably just a story that the newspapers started up just to add a little bit of drama to the story of the Titanic. Well, as it turns out, the origin of the Nearer My God to the story, well, 
It didn't first appear in some random article in a newspaper somewhere. The story first originated on board the Carpathia before the ship even reached New York City with the Titanic survivors on board. People on board the Carpathia, Titanic survivors I should say, were telling people on board the Carpathia about this incredible story before the ship even reached New York. And the more I researched this, the more mind blown I was. There is so much, and I mean so much testimony from people out there who said that Nearer My God to Thee was the final song the ship's band played that night during the Titanic's final moments. And when I was reading all this, it made me think of something else. It seems like that the whole Nearer My God to Thee story, well, it looks like that over the years, this story got twisted around a bit just like the whole story of, did the Titanic sink in one piece or did it break in two? Remember, during the inquiries into the Titanic disaster, so many, and I mean so many survivors, said that they saw the Titanic break in half. However, officially, the inquiry ruled that the Titanic sank in one piece. It looks like that something similar to that happened with Nearer My God to Thee. You know, it just, it looks like that Walter Lord looked at this one big piece of evidence from Harold Bride and thought that this is the best story about this, and he must be right, and all this other testimony is wrong. It looks like that the very same thing happened with Nearer My God to Thee that happened with the story of did Titanic break in two or not, you know? So anyway, I just thought that was interesting, and honestly, it, helped, it helps explain a lot into how the story of Autumn and Nearer My God to Thee got twisted around over time. Now, with all that said, I'm not saying that Walter Lord was completely incorrect with his interpretation of Harold Bride's testimony and what he believed was the final song played by the ship's band that night. What I think happened here was, if you have a lot of people that are saying different things about the same subject, then the truth of this subject that you're researching must lie somewhere in between. So ultimately what I think is going on here is I think that there were a lot of people who saw Near My God to Thee being played that night, but there were also people who saw Autumn being played that night. Who's to say that both songs weren't played on board the Titanic on the night of the sinking? So with this thought out there, let's now try to figure out, okay, if both songs were played on the Titanic that night, then ultimately, what was the final song the band played that night? Was it Autumn or Nearer My God to Thee? Well, ultimately, we can't answer this question for sure. However, I do think we can gain some insight into this question by looking into the Titanic's band leader, Wallace Hartley. Wallace Hartley was a man who was no stranger to spending time on ocean liners like the Titanic. He had played music on quite a few ships before he boarded the Titanic. He spent a great deal of time on board the Cunard liner Mauritania. Isn't that nuts? But anyway, it should also be mentioned that Wallace Hartley was a deeply spiritual man. His faith was extremely important to him. Wallace Hartley was Methodist. And when you're in a situation where you're not sure if you're going to live or die, someone's faith becomes a great source of courage for them. And I'm sure he was thinking about that during the Titanic's final moments. And I really do think that would have played a major role in what his final selection of music on the Night of the Sinking would be. Now, before Wallace Hartley boarded the Titanic, he went to go see a friend of his, whose name was Eland Moody. And the two men, while they were at his home, they were just having a conversation, when Eland casually asked Wallace, Say, Wallace, if you were ever on board a sinking ship and you were playing music on her, what would be the final song you would pick before the ship sank? Wallace Hartley thought for a moment, and he said, I don't think I could do better than one of these two songs. The two songs are, O oh God, Our Help in Ages Past, or nearer my God to thee. So Wallace Hartley directly said before he boarded the Titanic that if he was on board a sinking ship, he would probably play nearer my God to thee. And that was the song that so many people said they heard from the ship's band during the ship's final moments. Now, that isn't definite proof that that's what happened, but it heavily implies it. So after taking all of this information into account, ultimately, what do I think was the final song played by the ship's band that night. Well, before I answer this question, there is one more thing we need to think about. Another source of confusion that a lot of people may have had when they were talking about the final song the ship's band played that night was, well, 
you can't forget that there are three different versions of Nearer My God to Thee, and depending on which version of this song you're accustomed to, well, that could have caused some confusion among those who were hearing it coming from the Titanic's band during the final moments. Now, where Wallace Hartley was Methodist, there is a version of Nearer My God to Thee that is very popular among Methodists, so it's most likely this was the version of the song that the Titanic's band was playing that night, if Nearer My God to Thee was indeed their final selection. If you would like to hear what that music sounds like, uh, Tom Linsky over on his YouTube channel, Part-Time Explorer, the guy who made the amazing Titanic animation you always see in my videos. Thanks, Tom, for letting me use that, by the way. Well, you can hear that song being played from the Titanic during the final moments. I will have a link to that video in the description below if you want to check that out. So, in conclusion, what do I ultimately think was the final song played by the Titanic's band on the night of the sinking? I honestly believe that it was nearer my God to thee. When you study the evidence and testimony, there's just too much testimony where people say that it was, in fact, the final song played by the ship's band that night. However, even though I'm saying that, I'm not completely going against what Walter Lord or Harold Bride said either. I do think there's some truth to that as well. You see, ultimately what I think happened was, I think Autumn was the next to last song played by the Titanic's band that night. And then as soon as that song was done, they then switched to Nearer My God to Thee, played that song, and then the band broke up. That would explain why so many people said that they thought they heard Autumn, and then so many people said that they thought they heard Nearer My God to Thee. They were both played during the ship's final moments. And that isn't just my theory. A Titanic survivor by the name of Helen Candy also said that first she heard Autumn, and then she said the band concluded with Nearer My God to Thee. So while I can't say for sure, ultimately, that's what I think happened with the Titanic's band that night. All right, guys. Well, hey, now all of you watching this video now understand why trying to say for certain what was the final song played by the Titanic's band that night was such a difficult thing to do. Now, remember, as I said, I'm not stating with 100% certainty that the band's final song that night was Nearer My God to Thee, but I do think it is heavily implied based on everything we went through in this video. But ultimately, guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you have any theories about it? Did I miss anything in my research? Let me know about everything you think in the comments below. I would love to read it. All right, guys. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure you leave it a like. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Y'all take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks to our Captain Level Patreon supporter, Tammy Lee. Thank you so much for all the support. Hey everybody, this is Sam from Historic Travels, and before you go, I have a lot of other videos about the Titanic and other famous ocean liners throughout history. If you would like to watch any of those videos, they're available in my channel, and I will also include some options in this video right here. So select whichever one you think is interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.